Welcome to Pyramid Times. People who want to learn lucid dreaming, do you offer any courses? Yes, yes. So, uh, uh, I conduct some workshops. One is train your mind workshop. That workshop is the one where one can sit without any thoughts for at least for three minutes. Two minutes, 24 seconds is one mark. If you can sit without a single thought for two minutes, 24 seconds, uh, that gives you excellent meditation. If you're meditating for the half an hour afterwards or so, then most of your thoughts are gone. Okay. So that's what I teach that. That's, that workshop is for that one. Okay. And uh, next workshop is I, t I teach. Uh, uh, this astral travel workshop. So next workshop is I teach all night how to meditate all night. So in that workshop, there's lucid dreaming and astral travel and many other things that are going to happen very, very quickly. Very, very amazingly. This, uh, as I was telling, uh, so the lucid dreaming, the extension of the lucid dreaming is, okay, the thing is knowing that you're dreaming, remembering the dreams and uh, knowing that when you're a dream, in your dream when you're in a dream, Recognizing that you're in a dream. And fourth one is changing the dream elements. This is till fourth level, uh, I told. Next level, so called, uh, changing all, having the grip over all the elements of the dream. No, that's called your God in the dream. You're there, but you can change everything, and everything is in under your control. Everything is you only, knowing that much realization. And everything, everything, everyone is, no? uh, you're able to manage every situation. Powerfully, complete confidence is there. Like a god, you, you're playing the Leela consciousness, it's happening. I'm a god, I'm living. And anytime, any time, any situation, I can change. I can stop and recreate it. Everything is under my control. I am the creator of this dream. Knowing that the, I am the god of this dream. That's called god in the dream. And also, then you're, you're still having the, the that astral body or dream body, and you're still living the dream. But even if you can disappear the dream body, and you just be, be there in the, as the only presence. And also, if you want, you can you can stop the dream and also you can relax into deepest thoughtless stage. Complete grip over all the dream and dream element and out of relaxation, you can even stop the dream and come back and stay in the without any thoughts. Deepest thoughtless stage. That is called God of the dreams. God of the dreams, all the dreams. God in the dream is different from God of the dreams. Complete grip over the dreams. So that's what I teach. That's what I teach. Uh, is how to meditate all night that will cover this this one okay everybody becomes the god of the dreams i mean completely you know they are aware their consciousness is awake and uh, awake and complete aware the dream is entering and they are aware they are the, the dream you're there in the dream they have complete control even if they whenever they want they don't they can stop the dream and they can come back and relax deeply the dream if there are any learning curves are there any good things are there any uh, things any interesting things where you can learn and you can continue the dream, learn them. Otherwise, if the dream has uh, any unnecessary, unwanted things or waste content, that means time waste things, then you can stop the dream and stay in completely deep, thoughtless stage and receive more and more energies. And again, you can, again, next when the dream happens next level, the quality most level, the best best dream is going to happen. Best astral travel, causal travel, super causal travel, many great soul travel. Soul travel means Basically, you'll be experiencing a lot of bliss. Astral travel means emotion contentment is happening. Causal travel means you'll be learning a lot of things. You can read a book in a causal body, and you can be reading a book very with, within a within a fraction of a second. One second, that's all. In astral travel and, uh, and the, the causal travel, the difference is in astral travel, you need to, as, as Dr. Strange, you need to split the page and you need to read. Of course, you can read very quickly. But causal travel means the moment you can, your consciousness is touching a book, so you'll be grasping all the sense of the book. And the Maha uh, and the super causal travel, you'll be learning about our past lives and everything. And soul travel is you'll be experiencing a lot of bliss. Okay. And so Sarvatma consciousness, that's uh, connecting with the Sarvatma consciousness, is the one where you will be feeling that you're not only you're you're not only the one body, one soul, you're you realize that you're not you're many. Uh, you are, you are the oneness, in oneness with everything and everyone. At least starting with many people, you are, you'll be realizing your multi, multi-dimensional reality. Like you are living at a time in three places, ten places, and you realize that, that that's what it start, starts happening. Parallel worlds are there. You're living in parallel worlds separately. Automatically, you'll, you'll be seeing in the dreaming, in the dreams, the astral travel, and 
you'll be realizing that i'm not only existing in one place i'm existing in two three places four five places at a time four five screens will be uh, uh, coming and seeing that okay so uh, for example it's like a, it's like a tv okay television if you see if you see one television you are seeing that and you are learning from that and if you keep four te- four televisions and you are learning parallelly you are seeing and learning that parallelly that's called the multi dimensional reality of course it's not only the televisions it could be high max screen it could be very bigger and very clear and very this not only you are seeing that you are experiencing you are living there parallelly so living it's not only seeing that the based on your energy level the more and more experience you will be having the more and more clarity you will be having the more and more information learning that in less time you will be having more and more information very very quickest manner you will be learning highest things that's called mahan bhava bhavalu and then that's what in hindi and telugu and sanskrit the word is it mahan bhavalu maha means great anubhava means experience the people with the great experience you know the shankaracharya uh, vivekananda those people are living like around 30s only but what what is happening in this less age how can they learn very greater things amazingly great great things how can they learn less and short time they are learning more things so that is what uh, happens when our consciousness is expanded so That's consciousness is nothing but yeah thank you thank you vina consciousness is nothing but uh, basically how much less time we are learning more things so that's called the consciousness size okay that's what uh, the consciousness size expands in the meditation and that consciousness size automatically de- gives that the good quality of the dreams are increasing in less time you will be spending you will be learning a lot of things this is i'm telling with my experience friends i spent i was meditating regularly quality meditation it's not normal meditation quality thoughtless stage meditation so if you're doing that then i was one day one day i got one dream that in my in the dream 24 hours i was there in few days i got one dream that i, I was there eight days just it here in the earth 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 time is one it's, it could be five minutes or 10 minutes dream that's all in the night time dream but there i spent eight days in my dream then in few days i was in the regular meditation more and more conscious expansion one month i was there in one dream here it's only five minutes next few days i was there for five years in one dream happened and that uh, in the dream five years i was there that dream time expanded and after that uh, after that uh, again i came back in india and after that i took then one time i was uh, about to attend one one uh, yogi protoplasms workshop i am going there so his my his meditation is completely uh, minimum he yeah, six hours one sitting he like the three sittings he will be making everyone to do morning 3 o'clock to 11 o'clock uh 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay uh, no, let me just see calculate i think uh, morning 3 o'clock to 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 o'clock yeah morning 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock one sitting and again 10 to 11 he, he uh, 9 to 10 one break again 10 to again 3 o'clock okay again 3 to 4 one break and again 4 to 11 o'clock like the three sittings 3 11 3 6 hour sitting he used to do so before attending his workshop i said i thought okay because his uh, workshop is totally of a big longest sitting so let me practice myself and i was practicing to sit for three hours four hours without moving in straight without taking back support a uh, sitting then then my consciousness expanded again then in that night i was there in the uh, nine years i spent in one dream okay like that every time my meditation my consciousness is giving uh, dreams and astral travel and more and more astral travels more and more dreams more and more clarity and more and more great things are happening the learning curve there is more and more i'm learning i'm going and taking uh, meeting many gurus and getting lot of knowledge here if you wanted to meet guru or getting training is we need to plan and we can do it here also but in the dream also uh, dream and astral travel and astral realms also it, it will happen time to time when you are when you are sincere then automatically that is also happening my dear friends yes yes meena yeah that is very beautiful the way you explained the how to remain in thoughtless state and how it is important to access our own awareness so how to access our own awareness and also be uh, evolve in uh, speech, this uh, lucid dreaming in spirituality knowing our own astral uh, 
reality, causal reality, soul reality, and also you said how to gain the Mahan Bhava experiences also. All this is possible uh, by the courses that you offer and you also wonderfully define the dream template. How we can uh, keep uh, noting the dream experiences we are having. That itself is a trigger for our for us to seek even more knowledge in the dream world. And you also emphasized uh, how we can uh, bend the loss of time or loss of space. That uh, just spending one hour in the dream, it could be 12 years of experience which happened with uh, Brahmarshi, Patviji or for yourself, nine years of uh, uh, life you have lived in just few hours of time. That's uh, uh, very cool and definitely there is a lot to learn in this program. Uh, and can you, can you also tell uh, what made you to do, become like Buddha Pesha? Uh, or sleepless for the past few years? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a good question. So one time, actually, I got the bliss experience. Yeah, I started meditation in my teens and when I was meditating. Uh, after two years of my regular meditation, every day, half an hour, one hour, I was meditating. And uh, at the time, after two years, I got one bliss experience. Amazing bliss experience, I got it. And I was overwhelmed. What is this amazing bliss? I felt that... Uh, I want one more time, actually. Okay, So, he strongly felt. Till the time I was a normal, easygoing and normal, like, life means casual. Like, I was not with, not with any strong aims or nothing like that. But after that, I, I want, in my life, I redesigned my life that I want one more time that this experience. So, that's the reason I wanted to have that this experience. But I don't, I don't have, like, uh, how can I get that? In my meditation, while well, meditating only, I got it. So probably the solution is there in the meditation only. So then, uh, then uh, wanted to I was wanted to do more meditation, but um, experiment masters suggested that you just need to balance the samsara and nirvana. Don't go to the Himalayas. Then of course, because when the seniors say that, saying there must be some important things are there, definitely. Okay. Then let me meditate and get that one. But I felt meditation. Uh, Increase the meditation. Let me increase the meditation. But I'm busy, occupied in the whole world. I was working afterwards. I was, I was a student, uh, and I was working afterwards. And uh, all my life, I was busy, occupied, software as a software engineer. So what I, when do, when do you have the time? Whatever I'm doing, I wanted to do meditation more and more because I'm, I'm got unsatisfied with my. Uh, till the time I was a normal person, like normal desires and normal, like a normal youth and. Whatever I am doing, I felt like probably uh, I was thinking that, that when I'm when I'm enjoying with the friends jokes and when I go to movie theater and I'm happy and when I go especially when after I join my job uh, then in the night in the night time it was party time a lot of big music is there disco and we were dancing you know, for the music all together with the colleagues and everyone I thought that those are the, some happiest moments okay. But when I experience this one, this is ultimate bliss. This is like all of the human experience, all human happiness together. Everyone has five, you, know, you just remember five happiest moments in your life. Everyone in the human, all the earthly people are having the five happiest moments, top five happiest moments. And not only in the top five, you compare all the happiest moments together and just wrap it. And if you compare these happiest moments, these are nothing. Can you compare a, a blade of grass? towards the whole sky. We can't. The whole sky is like infinite. The bliss is like that. That is the ultimate bliss. Like, uh, that's where I realized that whatever I am doing is like nothing. I know that I, I experience something that too oh, much highest thing and now whatever, what am I doing? Because, because of course, the master said, uh, pyramid, uh, senior masters, I need to respect them because uh, through them only I got the meditation. And uh, I am living there I'm doing my job, but I want this ex, uh, experience of bliss one more time. What I need can do is I have only one thing in the night time. I have I have Satiji told that people, human means humanity means interest. You know, you're having one or the two interest about your life, one particular interest you got, certain things you are interested in. So whatever you got the interest, you just give time to that interest. So I wanted to give time for my meditation. And he so he told especially give night times. So I wanted to give all my night. Let me give all my night times and then I let me sit all night and meditate. That's what I decided. So that's where I, I practice all night meditation. 
and it took some time. I practiced for 10 years. Somehow, uh, I practiced for 10 years. It did come to me easily. And it come, it don't, then after 10 years, when I connect dots, then I realized that probably the waiting, you know, 10 years, uh, they, uh, they stopped my list. Probably the, there's a, there might be some gurus, even though I was doing all sincerely all night, but they didn't give me that experience. The blissful second time, I didn't get the experience for 10 years. It took me 10 years time to get my bliss experience. And that is also for a reason, because Vivekan also, he got the bliss experience when he got the first bliss experience. The Ramakrishna Paramahansa said, I'm locking his, your bliss experience. You'll not get it second time. Because if I give you a second time, then you'll not, uh, you'll not do any other things. So, so that's the reason. Uh, but 2014, it's, uh, again, the uh, thing happened. Like second time, third time, I got like, automatically, after a few, few times, you, even I feel that this itself is also not a, uh, not a, I don't want the bliss also. That means a desire for bliss also got disappeared. That's a, that's a real, real ultimate bliss I re reached actually at the time. Actually, whatever I got in 2004 is just uh, not ultimate bliss. That's like supreme bliss only I got it. Supreme bliss. There's a, there's a difference between ultimate bliss and supreme bliss. Supreme bliss is on earth level, it's the highest. It is, it is also looking like infinite, but that's not infinite. When I reach the ultimate bliss, then realize ultimate bliss means if you get it once, that's how you don't feel like you want second time off. That every all desires are burnt. That's right, right away. All desires gone. That, that much satisfaction happened in your life, in your being, entire being. So that's what happened. Then uh, then automatically even I st uh, stopped my sadhana, everything. Like uh, you don't want to feel, uh, do anything. You know you don't need to also. There is no responsibility also. It's your duties are response. Everything is over. Then uh, then I stopped my meditation. I was, I was chilling out and normal everything. Then I realized uh, until the corona time, but because of the corona or whatever the situation, let me just start. Okay. Okay, let me be, be there and again, let, let me meditate a little bit more. And I, you know, I started uh, meditation. I, and uh, now I wanted to teach meditation, the Kura Kesha, how to meditate online. Then I started the batches and I'm connecting some uh, no, some meditations and teaching that. So so 100, 160 people are registered to that Kura Kesha nighttime workshop uh, in, the, in the month of, uh, just last month. And they were practicing and... Uh, that's it. Uh, in October, I started my first batch, and this last month, December, I started second and third batches. And they are practicing their, their, their level one is 40 days. They'll be sitting and sleeping only. Sitting and meditating. Okay. Sitting and meditating means meditation means sleepless awareness. That's not meditating. Sitting and meditating all nights. They're all meditating like that because it's, it's for the people who are, who are so much busy in the morning time. In the night time, they can meditate. Okay. That's what the, the, my idea is. And, uh, uh, and also, Many people are successfully doing that, and everybody is so much uh, happy with their uh, all-night meditation, converting all sleep to all meditation. That's the idea. Yeah. That's very amazing. I think uh, during lockdown, when it started, you I think you are the first one to take this step to, uh, for spreading meditation, and from then you never stopped uh, offering classes. And there are many daily meditations and workshops happening. It's uh, so beautiful and very amazing. And what is your vision towards this planet? Yeah, vision towards this planet is so actually. I experienced this godhood. Okay, after the bliss, the next next thing is godhood. So everybody, everybody in the earth should create another earth and all the other other creation. Okay, that's what my vision. Okay, so everybody evolves to the next uh, next uh, higher and higher. Everybody becomes the Brahma and Mahabrahma and uh, like many many greater uh, greater realities we can create and we can not only create we can maintain and we can. And destroy, recreate, and everything. Okay? So that all that kind of thing, that's grand mastery. That's what my vision for everyone. Okay, I I I teach teach and coach for grand masters. Grand masters, the one the ones in any universe. If there is any any problem, these are, these are the masters can solve that anything. Okay, and creation, everything is in their grip. That's what my uh, my mission. Okay, my vision. That's where I'm. I'm targeting. That's what I'm going, teaching and coaching, and supporting, motivating, inspiring, and training, and creating the grandmasters. That is my 
purpose of not i would not say life purpose of my uh, but so my soul i could say yeah so and that's what i am living like that for that part, yeah yeah maybe it's uh, yeah soul is uh, purpose correct yeah and what are the best books or videos uh, that we uh, that you suggest for this lucid dream yeah lucid dreaming uh books and videos right some movies are there uh which are there in my website gmpwisdom.com if you go there about you can search about then it's about about me is there some afterward in the down downwards you can see some movies about lucid dreaming and astral travel okay so there are uh, every movie is there in the order sequence that the lucidity and the astral travel the creep and energy levels okay so so you are going down and you know, the more and more image the more and more uh clarity you'll be having okay amazing movies amazing movies okay the website name is gmpwisdom.com slash uh, the, the moment you go there a slash about you can type about okay uh otherwise if you go to gmpwisdom.com you can search you can uh, click on about then you'll be seeing the list under the one yeah and uh, uh -huh. books the uh, books uh, i would recommend many books are there and internet also many articles are there you can start reading articles are the beginning to uh, the good things to start okay and uh, next thing is atmayanam that means the peter richards book uh, soul's journey that is a very good book to refer okay. yes and how can people reach out to you yeah uh, gmp wisdom that's a, a facebook page is there and otherwise you can uh, whatsapp text me 8520085200 okay and uh, uh, but if I, if you follow that uh, facebook page that is much more easier okay all the events and future uh, workshops will be posted out there okay otherwise if you are having any question definitely you can whatsapp me otherwise facebook messenger text me okay? yeah. and what is your final message for the viewers yes the final message for the viewers is um and we are we are the great beings friends we are the human beings okay and uh, take our time for the greater th possibilities amazing possibilities whatever you are seeing in this physical reality there is that's only 0.001 percentage if you are just seeing the earth picture from the pluto now we even within our solar system the earth picture the nasa sent one uh, one photo earth is like a small speck one small dot the graph the dust particle is like a small dust particle smallest one only within our solar system the earth is the smallest thing so in the same way when you are awakened towards your greater possibilities realities no usually everyone in the materialistic world is all the the 99 percentage they are they are about this materialistic the whatever they are looking the comforts and physical body and earth and everything but if you just open up to the newer possibilities newer realms keep 50 percentage importance for the spirituality 50 percentage to the materialistic world both together balances and you'll be growing a lot the fullest consciousness expansion happens okay so materialistic world you earn and earn in a such a such a way that you just take out some time for the meditation and for the spirituality exploration okay that's what i say that's a, that's the reason i conduct some abundance workshops also the reason i conduct is just everybody to have the time for their uh, many great things whatever you gather in this life that will you know, there are two things some things we gather in this life they stay in this life only we cannot take it to the next life only this 100 years limitation only this 100 years only whatever uh, the books you are reading whatever the some uh, some skills you are learning okay some whatever the discussions arguments your friends and so, most of the most of the things are in this life only but whatever you learn from your own within indigestion into your, your being whatever you the spirituality the meditation the energy consciousness expression all these things you are going to take it to the next life as well 
the good things you do do in this world okay uh, so all these things so we need to be co- considering both ways not only the things which are in this world but we need to consider both things both things these are also important i am not saying that but just see both 50 50 percentage priority we need to give okay that's the last message that's my message to the viewers thank you thank you so much professor for the wonderful insights and great information that you have shared watch and subscribe to filmy times thank you so much <laughs>